start slicing cocks. But oh, geez. And welcome to Overwatch Apex Season Two. I am Doe. With me is Monty Cristo. You have to, you have to give <laughs> gods a little bit of attention. You know, the the scalp region, I suppose. You like, could do a sick Uncle Fester cosplay, by the way. That that would be awesome. Is so true. Yes. Well, wow. You you actually just uh, got him his next next Halloween costume lined up right there. Like when I see anyone, Monty Cristo, <laughs> I don't I don't see people. I see cosplay. Oh, uh, you do. You That's see costumes. You see Halloween costumes or cosplay. That's right. So right. the Uncle Fester, Adam's family. Yeah. I'll be Gomez if he goes in. So. Gomez? You grow a little mustache for that? <laughs> I'll, I'll grow I'd a little mustache I'd like to see that, actually. Let's, I think uh, I can pull that off. Let's make that happen. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm down for that. <laughs> I'll be Thing. Okay, great. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just be the hand. <laughs> That's kind of the easy way. No, no cosplay required, really, for that. Just the hand. Just, well, wear, just wear a black suit and black gloves. There you go. I'll and sneak a black mask, own. and it's just only your hand out. I'll just like have it crawl up people's shoulders. <laughs> that won't be creepy at all. Well, Cloud9, again, a team that we've talked about with all that mechanical skill, but they need to put it together. They need to make a cake of team play deliciousness. I and love So far, it's just I love been the chocolate chips. <laughs> And those are delicious. And the baking soda. And you got to put well, all that I stuff mean, together, yeah. you know? I mean, I'm, I was trying to think of ingredients that you could eat by themselves. So you could. Well, baking <laughs> soda doesn't taste great <laughs> by itself, I'm pretty sure. Well, there's uh, cooking with Monte Cristo and Donuts. <laughs> Coming soon, guys. You have to leave it in your refrigerator for a really long time uh, first. <laughs> oh. Well, there goes my appetite for the next quarter century. Welcome to Nepal. Looks pretty cool. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha The snow blowing around, yes, it does look pretty cool in the Himalayas there. Yes. I hope to go to the Himalayas someday, Doa. Me too. That'd be awesome. I watched that Michael Palin documentary. Looked really neat. That was a while ago, but the mountains are still there, so. I <laughs> think they're going to be there for a <laughs> while. Go see there. Yeah. They're, they're Hopefully. <laughs> they're probably going to be there for longer than any other mountains, considering they're, what, the newest mountains, really? A lot of uh, the tallest as well. Yeah. Not all of them, but a, a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Just most of them. Hey, it's a basket. <laughs> Somebody got a basket. We'll never know who it was. But I'm just glad that that sound doesn't happen in actual basketball. <laughs> you know, otherwise games would be really hard to watch because they make a basket like every couple seconds. Pretty sure the crowd makes that that noise every time there's a basket of basketball. All right, welcome to Nibani. Well, the gauntlet's still there for me. <laughs> so it's still there. All right, don't worry. Don't believe what we've seen. The gauntlet's okay. It's just fine sitting there <laughs> in the payload. Nobody's stealing that. No, I, I can't imagine anyone ever stealing that gauntlet. It looks so secure. <laughs> so secure. Just sitting there in a glass case in the middle of that museum, easily stolen. But fortunately for everybody, it seems like Talon has like the success rate of a lot of like Pink Panther villains. Where yeah, that's true. I, they really can't do anything <laughs> competently or get any mission done except for... I guess killing Mondata, that was the only one that they, they managed to get right. Yeah. I mean, one of the problems with the uh, gauntlet just being uh, out in the open like that is uh, the glass. I mean, yeah, it's bulletproof glass. That works well against most of the heroes in the game. But to stop Winston, you need gorilla glass. And I don't, I don't think they have that. <laughs> they definitely don't. But Winston wasn't trying to steal it, notably. That's true. Well, how do we know? Maybe they were. Th that's that's the. Maybe he was just that's over. That's the secret. That's the sick uh, character plot <laughs> twist that's going. Winston is actually a member of Talon. Winston actually becomes Doomfist. <laughs> he I'd, recalled the Overwatch agent so that I'd the rest of the world would get really angry. Well, we know in Blizzard games they love having good characters be corrupted to turn evil. So there that's is precedent. That's there basically precedent. their only plot device, as far as I can tell, with Blizzard. I wouldn't say that, but there is precedent. <laughs> There's many instances of this thing happening. Well, Cloud9, tying things up on Nimbani. Oh, God, don't look at me that way. i <laughs> hot and bothered. Oh. oh, my, rib. Well, one thing I think you can say for Cloud9 is they have been looking better each match we've seen them. I don't know. I think they look pretty bad against Africa Blue, frankly. <laughs> I, I mean, still they, think they They came looked. off with a win against Combox and I think really underperformed in a match that they probably should have been able to win. I still think they look better than they did against Combox. I, I think Combox I is disagree. just really easy to beat. But. <laughs> I, I disagree. I think that... that that uh, was kind of a cluster, that Africa Blue match. Well, there's only one way to solve this. 1v1 Mario Party. <laughs> After this, it's going down. That's how we solve all our problems, guys. That's right. Yep. That's how the world should solve their problems, too. Although Mario Party make, can make people very violent. So maybe that's actually not such a great idea. 
Let's go down courtesy of Rolf and Cloud9. Wow, have they actually survived this one? It's close. Oh, he oh, saved! Oh, the Reinhardts hit each other. That saved him from the pin. I think no H. Sure for it. He got crushed between the Reinhardts. <laughs> Ouch. It hurts bad. Coma and Bumper, two players that were playing for them in... Come closer, my friend. Centered there, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, have, been, have been uh, playing in the promotion series, but we haven't seen them so far in the actual Apex matches proper. That means right. Runner is going away. Shine, their Ana player, is going away, at least for the time being. And this puts Cox, a very explosive and uh, a player with a very large hero pool that has been quite impressive so yeah. far this season on the Ana. And will he be able to make this transition smoothly? How is their teamwork uh, going to be? Because this is a different team than the one we saw get flattened by Kongdu Panthera. Well, I I personally feel like it could be a big waste to put Cox on Deanna. Yep. Because, <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life now. This is my life now. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't put Cox on Ana is, I think, what we're learning from this. That's what I'm learning, Noah. But Rated T for <laughs> team. Ox all on that diva. I gotta say, uh, doing a really good job of disrupting Fnatic's attempts to control the high ground, just kind of keeping everything scattered. Yeah, I don't know, man. You gotta get more than the Ana in that situation. You can do your best Lorena Bobbitt impression and start slicing <laughs> Cox, but oh, geez. <laughs> uh, we're not even trying anymore, are we? <laughs> well, well, the Cox are out now. This is how it goes. <laughs> gotta get more than that, right? Sure. As they say. <laughs> as, as they say. Did you enjoy my simile, Doa? I did. <laughs> I did. It was, it was filled with 90s, <laughs> 90s flair. Nobody even knows what that reference is. Nope, they don't. <laughs> they, can, they can Google it. Just don't image search it. <laughs> you know, going back to the analogy with Dragon Ball Z, I feel uh. like... You know how you have to have a certain power level to be able to go Super Saiyan yeah. in the first place? And sure. There are those hard carries like Goku in Dragon Ball Z. I feel like Fnatic is one of those side characters that's mo mostly used for cheering on the they're team. They're like Krillin, basically. Yeah, they're basically. Fnatic is like the well, Krillin of Overwatch. They're like they're most of the storyline is just like <laughs> trying to find a way to br bring Krillin back from dying again. Yep. And they're mostly there as cheerleaders for the the player or the teams or the the characters with higher power levels. Sure. I, I mean, feel like that's where Fnatic is right now. You know, and if people think Krillin is a is a big insult. We could have said they're Yamcha, so, <laughs> so you should really count your blessings, I think. Yeah, because Krillin does do cool stuff once in a while, you know? They're not quite, what was that guy with like the third eye? Ken? Uh, I forget his name. I can't remember his name either. Oh well. Either way, at least they're not Yamcha. <laughs> I'd take Krillin over Yamcha any day. Flash Lex is Yamcha. <laughs> That's absolutely right, yeah. <laughs> So take a look at the bracket right here. I know this graphic is quite poor and that is extremely most, confusing. That is the most confusing way possible to show <laughs> the format that we're talking about. That, that I literally cannot think of a more uh, like a more disorienting way to look at this. Yeah, it, it, it does make sense if you know what it's trying to say, but yeah. I think if you uh, didn't know the format or have it explained to you, that that would be just a giant mess. It looks like a giant mess. It looks like we're playing one of those like cell phone games where you have to like stop a bomb from exploding and you have to connect to Africa like a, Blue to LW like a Blue somehow. Mini game in a video game. Yeah, exactly. It does look like yeah, that. you have to like tell me how to disarm the uh, bracket or everyone dies. You better not screw up. <laughs> that's how that's how Envious goes out of the tournament. <laughs> Hopefully not. We'll see. You know, people like to criticize Eskin for good reason too, but his May play, especially on points like Village, has always been very, very good. And they really lacked that when they were running Taejun and not him for a while. Okay. Sometimes you just die, I guess, but when he's alive, he's great. Sometimes you just die without using your ice block or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's fine. I cast a curse in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I admit it. That was my fault. Who are you? Just going to tear some people apart. Envious already scattered. They're just going to die and uh, reset here. And loot. The two-fingered salute, which sounds like an insult, but <laughs> it's just what Genji does. It's a respectful salute. gave him the two-finger salute, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's a great euphemism, it's, it sounds It sounds insulting. It sounds like it should be bad. I'll be giving you the two-fingered salute later. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought that was our secret, Monty. Come on. They have to Reinhardt, but uh, the May is doing a lot of work. Oh, my gosh. Graviton Blizzard, everybody. It's, it's Minnesota time now. 
Is there a lot of gravity in Minnesota? <laughs> You'd think so, but no, just a lot of uh, blizzards. <laughs> Who are you? Reflect? I'm Doa. Why, we've been casting together for years. What are, I'm confused now, man. I feel hurt, in fact. Things looking pretty grim this time around, though. Uh, we're going into the assault map, which Envious does not exactly do stellar on. And that's the that's the rub there, Doa. Is that? Yeah. There's the rub. There's so, the rub. You're so Shakespearean, Monte Cristo. I am very Shakespearean. I, I did. I I only acted in Shakespeare plays when I was in college. Wow. I'm not surprised at all by that. <laughs> I played Richard the Third once. Really? There were four curtain calls. Wow. That's a line from Galaxy Quest. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I did play Richard III, but I wasn't good enough to get four curtain calls. Stars Hammer, you're right. <laughs> I had forgotten that. Wow. Great movie, if you haven't seen it, by the way. It is a great movie. Late great Alan Rickman. Welcome to Hanamura. I found out. Apparently, I saw this online. Apparently, if you shoot the trees, more leaves come down, or flower petals, or whatever it is. <laughs> flower petals. More flower petals come down. The leaves come after the flower petals. Yeah. And if they land on Reinhardt or Genji, you call that pedal to the metal. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm, done. So, I'm so well sorry. Done. Well I'm done. so I sorry. I appreciate that one. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts bad. Oh, oh, Toby. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, he's back on the door, Bjorn. Yeah. Why not? And, uh, yeah, I, ho I hope they never have to trade him away. But if they do, they'll have to ask themselves a question. Toby or not to be? That is the question. Whether that was for you. That whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the scatter arrows of outrageous Hanzos. <laughs> uh, I got your back on the Shakespeare you quotes, man. You did, thanks. <laughs> Let's write a whole play sometime. <laughs> Let's do that. That'd be great. It'll be called Drop Thine Beat. <laughs> All right, welcome to King's Row. Medium Ben and all. It's kind of like in, in China, they have all those replicas of famous buildings. I was reading today, they have like or Las Vegas. 10 White Houses or something like that in China. That's so weird. I know. And I'm not just talking about houses that are painted white, because everywhere's got a lot of white houses. I mean, like, the same like White House that we have in the US where the president lives, or in this case, lives once in a while. <laughs> Did you know in China, they're actually making a replica of the Titanic that you can visit? <laughs> is that weird? That doesn't sound like a great idea. <laughs> well, it's on land. Oh, so okay. All right. That sounds it. like a much better idea. Or it's like in, right. a, in a river or a lake. I think it's oh. very unlikely to, to fail, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said about the last one, you know? <laughs> they did. <laughs> it's it's very there. unlikely to fail. <laughs> <laughs> there would be a pretty interesting story there if it were to somehow sink again. Yeah. Which, by the way, is not irony, guys, because you now expect the Titanic to sink. So. Yeah, exactly. It'd be ironic if it was a very safe boat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's irony. Upcoming into that situation. So who knows? The Cinderella story was real hey, that you know, last season, though, but yeah. have you ever heard of a double Cinderella? I've not heard of a double <laughs> I've heard of many Cinderella remakes, <laughs> which may or may not be a good thing. Hint, it's probably not. But uh, you never know. You know, the thing is... She leaves two princes. <laughs> I don't know. She loses both shoes. We do. Well, you know, someday we'll be big Hollywood directors and we can make these kinds of decisions, you know? Double Cinderella. What a, a this time uh, it's personal. <laughs> I, I don't know. Produced by Doe and Monte Cristo. An eSports story. About Envy. <laughs> Double Cinderella <laughs> and eSports story. There you go. About Envy. Yeah. we got to figure out what actors are going to pick to play them. <laughs> Tell us on Twitter who you think <laughs> should play. Ah, it did. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next week for more Overwatch Apex quarterfinals action. The playoffs continue. We'll see you then.